Heavenly Father, I pray that this video is edifying. Do God forgive me the spirit and power to do this video. My name is Yalak Mara. And first and foremost, again, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Makakudash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. A special citations to the men, women, and children of the house of David, those who rule well. Also, shout out to the Akim of the Sheep Red Camp, who inspired me to do this sit down uh, from the camp at Dawan Mayim, Elder Karak Al Kahan, and Akrab Shapat. Uh, this video was actually sent out by the brother, and I sent this video uh, as well. What well, happened with the beaver? They running away. They running. They here in the street. Wow. So as you can see in the video, um, if you can't see it real clear, what it is is a swarm of bees going on. Um, I'm seeing that this is in New York City. I can't tell you uh, what day, but this is like pretty much being posted and shared. Um, what I did Google and research, you know, in the news was there was a massive swarm about um, and bees in an Iona's family yard, right? So these are actually plagues that's being spread out in Egypt. Now the Ark Rob Shapai actually sent out the video. You know, I'm just pushing it out there for um pushing it out there due to the scripture, okay, to show that the end is manifest. All right, and I understand the most high has a manifest destiny. All right, so this video is pretty much entitled Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's Manifest Destiny. And it's being manifest in front of the eyes of the world. All right, so you know. You heard about the hornets uh, being uh, sent in. You know we in the COVID-19. It's funny how they got this movie Candyman 2020 coming out and all these different things is happening with these bees and hornets. So the Most High got a movie too, and this is just his his end being manifest. A movie has certain scenes. It has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end, and the end is now being manifest. All right, so this is Second Edges chapter 9, verse 5. As a matter of fact, I'll start from 1. It says, And he answered me then and said, Measured out the time diligently in itself when I'll see as part of the signs past. Now, part of the signs is past. So you get the signs back in Matthew's uh, chapter 24, verse 7, which the signs have been uh, picking up more and more, where we have earthquakes, uh, pestilences. Now, COVID-19 is not the first pestilence. Of course, you have, we have many pestilences over the time. You had Ebola, you had the flu virus, you had um, uh, HIV, AIDS, you had many different type of pestilences that was out there. Okay, before this, this is just the biggest to actually shut down the uh, global pandemic. Okay, so this is these are signs that are written about to happen inside the Bible. Matthew 24 and 6, it says, and it says, you, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Now, I remember just recently, uh, before all of this kicked off, Salamani was killed. Okay, the Iranian leader, the Iranian leader, um, by uh, Trump. Remember January third. So this was going to like pick up the, the bring the pretty much the tensions of war between these nations, you know. And this is all due to the resources. But at the end of the day, what is it saying? This is saying that it's part of prophecy. So we are seeing. Of end be made manifest, okay? Rumors of wars, all right? And see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. This is the one who the world ignorantly calls Yahweh Shai. I mean, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Salakia, okay? That was a slip of the tongue, whose name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is deliverer, a savior unto his people, which is the Israelites, which are you so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans who are scattered abroad, and those who are of a confusion of face, right? So it says, verse uh, 7. For nation shall rise against nation. Now, now, um, for nation shall rise against nation. Now, these are nationalities, actually. So, what do you kind of see the tensions now? Funny thing is that, um, due to all of this, amid using the coronavirus, there's like a high, uh, picked up tensions. All right, where you see, uh, there was a Georgia, um, shooting, a shooting in Georgia. Right here, 
where there was a black jogger. He was jogging and he was pretty much shot by two white men. Now the white men were uh, so-called white men. Now it was a father and it was a son that actually murdered this uh, black, this young black man. So you having these tensions pick up, okay, racial tensions as well due to the COVID-19. Many videos where you're seeing actual uh, so-called white officers and actually um, use a lot of force, okay, to um, take down a lot of jigs. And now you had T.I., okay, and Louis Farrakhan. Let me actually get, uh, T.I. shared it, but Louis Farrakhan basically said that, um, He will, he will use force, like we will, like. So he will use, he will use force. It's like I'm just uh, a lot of this is coming off the top of my head right now. But it's showing you the tensions that's starting to build up. And this was due to all the recent, um, all the recent uh, attacks being done. Let me see if I could get a Ti Instagram where he actually shared this post. Because T.I. is, you see, these are the things that's being shared out, okay? So this is brewing up tension. This is brewing up tension. This is one of the um, officers who uh, actually like attacked the Jake. So this nation against nation, okay, tension is building up a lot. Um. That's what the young, the man name was Ahmed Aubrey. Uh, <clears throat> I was seeing if I could actually find a post, but so this is this is this is a um, this is detention. These are the nation against nation. All right, ethnos. All right, one ethnicity against another. All right, kingdom against kingdoms, which I just showed you with uh, Salomani. Salomani. Okay, that was what I ran. Uh, America and Iran was beefing over uh, since the oil tankers. All right, so this has been going on for a few few years now. They've been beefing over the oil, over the land. All right, and everybody wants world domination. All right, so the kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, There's food shortages. All right, like let's really dig into it because each of these events are happening, but we have to understand that this is. The thing that's being manifest is the destiny of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, more few food shortages. Meat packing plants will remain dangerous hotspots for coronavirus. What to make of a meat shortage? Here are 12 things to know. These are recent articles. This is a hot topic right now over the coronavirus. But again, this is the prophecies that's unfolding. And you might hear it being repeated over and over, but that's, that is the prophecy, okay? This is what's happening. This is the part of the movie that's coming into play. And pestilences. All right, this disease in itself and earthquakes in diverse places where there's many earthquakes going on. You know, you have one in Utah, you have one in Cali, you got them happening all over the place. All right, and made with this uh, matter of fact, it was a landslide, I think, upstate New York. All right, so you have a lot of uh, highly uh, active, um, um, you know, that the um, these prophecies are being highly active right now. All right, so let's jump back to second address. 9 and 1, where it says again, he didn't answer me and said, measure out of time diligently in itself, and when now see is part of the signs past. Those are the signs to look for, which I have told thee before, verse 2. Then shout out understand, understand receiving the information is going to be clear to us. It's going to be what? The manifest. That is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So what are we seeing? How does the how is the most high going to visit the world? Now it says that he will come with clouds. This is why we are seeing a lot of UFO activity. All right. This is why now the Pentagon had declared the UFOs. That wasn't that wasn't um done before. All right. That wasn't that wasn't done before. The Pentagon officially released UFO videos. That was never done before. So why all of a sudden now? This is in the same time we're in the highest will begin to visit the earth which he made. All right, it all, you know, the Independence Day movie, all these movies are coming into wishing. Just what if the Most High had given them visions to put these movies out, just as pre warnings? All right, and now the, the Bible's actually giving the words to it, and then it was going to manifest into reality. All right, so let's go. It says, 
it says uh, verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, oh, we read the same thing in Matthew 24, and this was Yahweh Shah speaking. This is the time of Edris, and uproars of the people in the world, okay, nations against nation versus nation. There's going to be many uproars. There's going to be many racial tensions due to this buildup, all right? There's going to be uproars due to what? Famines. There's going to be uproars due to what? Loss of job, all right? Because many people are not working, and the jobs are not providing them with the, the unemployment because they're running out of funds and so on and so forth. And these uproars, before this even happened, there was being protests. There was a yellow jacket protest. There was already many people already protesting, you know, due to wages, due to unfair treatment. You know, so this has been going on in the world before actually COVID-19. So we just intensifies it. It's like a steroid for, for, uh, for the Most High's actual plan. Verse 4, it said, Then shall thou well understand that the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, he is to be by Hashem Yahweh Shai, in the name of he who delivers, right, Yahweh Shai, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Now, when you want to go into, the, when you go into the word manifest, I really want to look at the word manifest destiny. It says, That which is clearly, that which clearly appears destined to come to pass. So, Again, it is clearly, it is evident, appears destined, all right, destined to come to pass, all right? And I want to look into this word destined, too, but I'm going to keep reading. It says condition or an event, a condition, all right, or an event, all right, which can be foreseen, foreseen, foreseen before it happens, okay? Be aware of beforehand, all right, with certainty, or is regarded as inevitable. So manifest destiny is pretty much a prophecy, an event that is that is destined to happen, foreseen, okay, before it even happens, you can see it coming to pass. So with all these things happening, you can see that what? Let's get it. Second Edges 9 and 5, for like as all that is made in the world have a Beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. You see it clearly. The manifest destiny of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, you see it very clearly. This is Isaiah forty-one and twenty-six. Who have declared from the beginning that we may know? Who can declare anything from the beginning that would say? Who can basically set, speak out the Lord's manifest destiny? It says, and before time. All right, that means to foresee. That we may say he is righteous. You know who? You name him. All right. There is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is, there is none that heareth your words. Let's jump to Psalms 911. Now it says, Sing praises to the Lord, how by Shemiah Shai, which dwelleth in Zion. So the ones who are going to sing praises and declare among the people his doings, the things he did and that he will do, will be Israelites, which are what? The prophets. Okay? Which will be the prophets. That's who's going to do it. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, both of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of War, okay, rumors of war, we said it, right? Of evil, all right? And of pestilence. So the prophets, which dwell in Zion, which are Israelites, are the ones who will be able to do the, the, that job. And the apostles of GMS are those men who have been doing that job, all right? And those who fall up underneath that banner, okay, pushing his truth within the sincerity. And that's the evident, that's the evidential fact. Because we're the time we're coming into now is the balls in Bill Gates' hand. Bill Gates, okay, and when and when you really look at Bill Gates, man, you know he is the gates of hell. You know, like the uh, elder Yahshua entitled the gates of hell. That's Bill Gates. All right, that is Bill Gates, right there. All right, because he has a plan to vaccinate. And, you know, they want digital certificates. So in order that digital certificate somebody and vaccinate, it will be coming in the form of the mark of the B system. All right. So that's what they that's what their agenda and that's what it's playing. But I want to look at this thing right here real quick, and it's called manifest destiny. All right now, manifest destiny says a phrase 
coined in 1845 is the idea that the United States is destined by God. So this was a phrase that was coined, coined by the United States that it was destined by God. And the United States, the way it was founded, it was destined by God. Because you read about that in Deuteronomy, that's how it's manifest to us that we are the children of Israel because we went into slavery again. And those curses only fit upon a people of us. Nobody have ever been severely beaten like that. Nobody have ever been treated when you watch the movie um, Uncle Tom's Cabin and they break down how they how we force fed. They break your, your teeth and they feed you with the molasses. They would take the females and they would turn them into prostitutes. They would actually butt break the men. They would actually go through so many different processes that they would go to, you know, and this have never been done at that large scale and that severe. And that was a curse upon us, which means that that was a, that was a destiny for them. So it says it advocates belief to expand its dominion and spread democracy and capitalism across the entire North American continent, in which they did. The philosophy drove 19th century United States territorial expansion and was used to justify the forced removal of Native Americans and other groups from their homes. The rapid expansion of the United States intensified the issue of slavery as new states were added to the Union, leading to the outbreak of the Civil War. Right, so this is what led them. But let's get even deeper now, because the manifest destiny in the Most High is that he has a new world order that he's bringing into effect, wherein will rule and dwell righteousness. But we are seeing the end, okay, the end, the end be clearly made manifest. As it says, uh, to spread or to show plainly, all right? We're seeing it plainly to discover. If you didn't know, you're now discovering that there is no, there is no NBA to look forward to. There is no hip hop shows to do. You know, this is it. We are in a state of a downfall inside of this society, but we are in a state of an uprising in another society where it will dwell righteousness. So you can clearly evidently see that, man. And it says to display by actions, right? What is on display of the actions is murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill, man. MDK. That's being displayed all over the news, man. All over the news. All right, so... You know, Lord Willingness was edifying, um, just pushing on the spirit, man. Brother uh, Akarab Shapai uh, actually shared that video out to start off with the precepts so, and just add on. And the brothers was laboring and adding to it as well, you know, going into how, you know, we, this is spiritually that, that Egypt. Let me actually get that scripture as well, you know, because the same way Egypt had these plagues, the same way Egypt had these plagues, America having these plagues. The same way Egypt um, wanted to take us out, the same way America wanted to take us out. Uh, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead body shall lie in a great city. All right, so this city is going to be known as a great city. What is what is a, uh, greater than America? That is, a, that is a great city where people have left their cultures and left their people behind just to come over here to make a living, right? Just to come over here to adapt to a new philosophy. It says, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt due to the bondage, okay? Because Egypt represents that bondage and that Sodom re represents the uh, same sex and all the homosexuality, bestiality that this society pretty much uplifts and do, right? Where also our Lord was crucified due to the image, all right? Due to the image with the Cesare Borgia. So <clears throat> this is that spirit, this is that, uh, that place. We get one more precept. Um, which is, let me get this real quick. It's the book of Exodus chapter 10 verse 4. It says, else, if thou refuse to let my people go. Now this is who? It says, let's start from verse 3. And Moses and Aaron came into, in unto Pharaoh. Now Moses and Aaron were chosen men of the Lord, making clear um, the manifest of what would happen if the Egyptians did not let the Hebrews go and serve the Most High. Right? So it says, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, 
Yahweh by Shem Yabashai, of the Hebrews, right? How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me, let my people go, that they may serve me? So during this time, Pharaoh had the power over the Hebrews, in which he kept them into captivity and gave them laborious work, tried to kill their firstborn males, you know, all the males that came out of them, and just so he could establish and rule over his people, right? So Moses was giving forth the word of the Most High to let the Hebrew Israelites go. So it says, else if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast. All right, so we have seen this as well being played all throughout all throughout the land, um, China and Africa, it was a uh, locust swarming. All right, so locusts were swarming. The new wave of locusts, severe uh, floods, threatened East Africa's food supply. So, look at this right here: East Africa preparing to face twin biblical plagues, COVID nineteen and desert locusts. You know, this is not a joke. These are real, relevant articles. Every article that was pulled up was a few hours ago. So. You know, while you still watching the Netflix, watching the Amazon Prime or different, different shows, these are the events that are happening at a high, consistent uh, pace. And only the most high, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, will be able to deliver you out of that. That's the only one who will be able to, to deliver you out of these different, these set forth troubles to come that are being manifested in our eyes. Now, to turn from that and not deal with the most high is because... It is not being manifested to you, and the, and the angel is blocking you, right? Because it's clear. So it says in Exodus 10 and 4, um, verse 5, And they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped. And this is how that will cause what? A famine. Cause they're eating up the crops, which remain unto to you. And who, who else need to eat the crops to eat? The cows need the crops to eat, Right? So it says, which remains unto you from the hell, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. And it shall fill the, the houses, and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers nor thy father's fathers have seen since the day they will come upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh. So there was acts that was going to be done that was never seen before. And we are now experiencing those same acts where you can ask... You can ask someone who's in the 60s, 70s, have you ever seen an event like this where there's been a global shutdown, where where you're given this curfew, where you where um, stores have been shut down for this prolonged amount of time? People who was once working for this place is now putting out of work, and they'll tell you, no, they've been through this, they've been through that, they've been through the days of Martin Luther King, but they have never seen a time like this before, and this is playing out in this day, and the end is being manifested. So... Let me just end off with the word destiny. And it says, fate overruling necessity. The irresistible tendency of certain events to come about. The irresistible, the irresistible tendency of certain events to come about. So the Lord have events. That is, is you you can't stop it. So you could prolong it for as long as you want, but it's always gonna come. It's always gonna come. All right, these events will come to pass. Get this Isaiah forty-two, verse nine. Behold, the former things are come to pass. Just as Noah said a flood will happen, those former things have came to pass. Right? It says, and new things do I declare. Now these new things were being declared. Uh, nuclear missiles to hit this place. The RFID chip being the mark of the beast system. The famines. The rumors of war. World War Three. Okay? And it says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay, so before they spring forth, the destiny, they tell you of them, giving you the destiny of what's to happen upon this place. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh a new song and his praise from the end of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the habitation thereof. 
Would that being said, Shalom.